What's going on? Hey, right now, I'm going to show you how to use the Reach app, which is the app that I personally love to use if I want to push out any sort of text blast to a large group of people, um, maybe my clients, my friends, family, sphere, whatever, about maybe an event or something that I just want to get in front of them. And why I love the Reach app is that it will individually send a text message to each person that I want to push out to. And also, the text message will come from my actual real phone number. So it's not going to be a random number. So it feels like it's real. We can personalize it to make it feel like it's real. So let me show you how to use the Reach app First off, it's like six or seven bucks a month. Um, very inexpensive, unlimited text. Um, I'm going to do it for my computer. So you can see here, when you open up the app on your phone, it's going to basically look something like this. You're going to have three tabs. Messages tab, which is where you're going to create your message. Groups tab, where you can bring in and import uh, your groups through a CSV, which is what I would recommend if you have a lot of people, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and then just your general settings. So let's just go ahead and import a group. Right? So I've got an event coming up here. Um, we're going to do a March Madness party. And I want to push this out via text um, to about 250 uh, real estate agents that I work with. So how the heck am I going to do that? I'm going to go ahead and um, on this app, this is it as if you were looking on your computer and uh, excuse me, your phone. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click plus. Let's name it real estate agents. Sure. Cool. Create done. And then there's a couple different ways you can um, add contacts. The best way, in my opinion, is going to be the import CSV. So I'm going to do import CSV from PC Mac. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to say, go to this website, reachtheapp.com forward slash CSV, uh, and then upload the CSV and then come back here. Here's my code. It's going to give you a code. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the website, which here it is. I'm going to type in my code. Uh, I already have my file here on my, um, excuse me, on my computer. Uh, but basically what it is, is it's just a list of names, phone numbers. I've got emails just in case, uh, just in case maybe uh, if the phone number kicks back in a rare case, it can still shoot out an email, which is kind of cool. So I do both, but you've got to have this organized, obviously, which takes time. Once that's done, though, I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, open. I'm going to click upload. Now it's going to upload. Now I go back into the app i'm gonna click import csv now it's going to say all right we found it 252 contacts um send via default I, i'll like to do text first then email right um i want it to be phone if i can so i prefer to do phone and then uh, we're going to default text email right uh and then translation don't need that that's it done assuming you have the uh, spreadsheet formatted properly that's all you're going to do um, all right, well, I actually have a paid subscription, so let me restore my purchase here. But that's it. We basically take the spreadsheet. It's now going to bring it in. It now realizes that I'm a paying customer, so I should be good here. Let me click done. And now you can see here are all the people that just got imported, right? 252 of them. So now my final step is to go ahead and create my message, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new message. Um, I can give it a subject. I like to give it a subject just in case if it does get sent as an email. You're invited to uh, the third annual March Madness party, right? Boom. Um, here's what's cool about this is I can do kind of specific template fields. Check this out. So I could say, hey, first name, right? And it will automatically fill in the first name of that purpose. Um, it's snowing outside. So I'm going to do a little, little snowflake just to kind of, you know, signify, hey, it's snowing out there. You know, hope you're staying warm. Um, I'm sure they'll get that. I'll keep it short and sweet. And they'll say something like, I've got, uh, I am hosting, I am hosting uh, our third annual March Madness party next Thursday at Chicago, um, excuse me, at Milwaukee Street Tavern, right? You get how I'm doing this, boom. Anyway, I'll finish this later. But once you're done writing what you want to say, definitely do the first name thing. That's cool. That way it's personal to every single person. Then I click done. And then the final step here is to basically go ahead. I'm just going to go back, right? Um, I can now select this message. I could then click right here and then I could say, Hey, right. 
send it to all these people and then click send. And then it's just going to go boom, boom, boom. And it should just go it. If it's your first time doing it on your phone, you might have to click a button that basically um, allows it to trigger to keep sending to people. Otherwise, you might have to click send on a few of them if they're Android one by one. But whether it's Android or iPhone, it should just send every single one of them one by one. You just put your phone down, leave it alone, and come back once they're all done, and then you're good. But that's the Reach app. I truly love it. That's how you use it real quick in a nutshell. I'm Jared Larkin, Chicago Title. Reach out to me if you have any questions. If you want other real estate tools, tips, ideas, um, just tech advice, marketing ideas, invites to classes, check out my website right here, milehightitleguy.com. And um, we'll catch you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.